As angry mobs in Muslim countries storm U.S. embassies and burn American flags, the U.S. president delivers yet another speech about how good America's intentions really are and have been in the Muslim world. America is a friend and that we care not just about our own country, not just about our own interests, but about theirs. That even as voices of suspicion and mistrust seek to divide countries and cultures from one another, the United States of America will never retreat from the world. We will never stop working for the dignity and freedom that every person deserves. It could be that the Obama administration thinks by supporting revolutions, by fostering regime change, Washington is winning the hearts and minds of the people in that part of the world. But recent events showed that's not quite so. If you look at poll numbers that gauge public attitude towards the U.S. in different Muslim countries, U.S. approval rating is the same as it was under President George W. Bush. In some countries like Pakistan, it's much worse. And these numbers have nothing to do with the infamous film, but they do have something to do with U.S. policies. You know, we can wrap any kind of purple finger revolution. We want people to have democracy and have freedom. But at the end of the day, when we look at the results of what's uh, been accomplished over two decades of being in this region, destabilizing the region, we have uh, hundreds of millions of people who have, uh, in a lot of cases, have had their world turned upside down. And in oh, oh too many cases, they've had relatives that have been killed in this process. And we're building uh, enemies towards this country. And, you know, if I think that there's a need for a major wake up call in the West, especially the United States. The way the administration is trying to somehow contain the blowback over this anti-Islamic film is by bashing the film and saying that they, too, find it disgusting. But now it's clear to pretty much everyone that it's not just about the film. This rage against the United States has been brewing for a while, and it seems it needed just a spark to blow up. And the film tragically provided that spark. And the administration's soothing words about democracy don't seem to help much in putting out the flame of rage now sweeping across the Arab world. I would say that there are a number of things that should be done immediately. Um, first of all, um, the troops should be withdrawn from Afghanistan immediately. That would be a huge signal in the, in the, in the Muslim world that uh, America didn't intend to continue the neoconservative foreign policy of uh, the last uh, 10 years or so. They could um, immediately um, uh, withdraw the covert uh, assistance which they are they are giving in the Syrian in the Syrian conflict. They could immediately withdraw the sanctions um, on Iran. These would be very, very serious signals. Rather than uh, President Obama uh, ringing up President Morsi and lecturing him for 20 minutes by all accounts about how his government needs to be um, more pro-American, it would be better if he dealt with the people in his own country that is producing this, this kind of thing. After all, um, America has fought a, a war in two predominantly Muslim countries uh, in the last uh, 10 years, three if you include its involvement in the attack on Libya. Now, surely there should be a moment where a responsible leader of a country that has done that um, uh, takes some action when um, a, a film is produced of this kind, which in those circumstances is bound uh, to uh, result in anger across the Middle East.